you know, maybe uh, too late for Credit Suisse and maybe too late for First Republic. Their stock's down, what, a total of 90% now? But what are the possible options? Are there that, that are viable, that can actually uh, save for First Republic now? Well, indeed, Kathleen, it's very much still a moving target, and that there is a sense that um, the, the authorities are kind of uh, are kind of flipping um, back and forth with a few different options that they have on the table here. But one of those options, of course, is to change or certainly expand the emergency lending facilities that are available to to the bank that will allow them to kind of get the liquidity in the areas that they need. Um, it is a fluid moving target, so you know details are subject to change. But as you said, the stock is down nine. But one of the points uh, we were making in our reporting for this story is that maybe some of the deposit withdrawals has started to kind of ease somewhat, and that is giving regulators a little bit of hope that you know they're, they're not dealing with a, as as a fragile a situation as they were uh, you know a week or two ago. So is the chance of a bank run stabilising somewhat? Is that kind of coming back a bit? That might help regulators firm up their decision if indeed that's happening. And of course. Going Going back to SVB, could we finally get some news? I know there were some bids that went in before the Friday deadline. Potentially we could know something by the end of the weekend? Well, it, it does feel like from hour to hour we're, we're kind of looking for incremental news here, uh, Heidi, but I, I think it, it's pretty clear that the authorities do want to get something done uh, Sunday night or certainly very early uh, Monday morning. Um, the FDIC, of course, has been in control of this bank now for the best part of, of two weeks. They've been working uh, with a number of different parties to try and get a, a resolution, uh, but they do want to kind of, they do want that resolution really as as soon as possible. It doesn't really help them to kind of uh, keep this on um, their balance sheet for any longer. And uh, it does at this point look like uh, Valley National and First Citizens are the kind of the, the front runners. But you probably need to keep your eye on the tape now in the next few hours late into Sunday evening in the US to see whether we get another development on this.